We're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm extremely pleased to be joined by the Honorable John Nassasira, who is Minister for ICT for Uganda. Minister Nassasira, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thanks, Max. This year's events theme is Embracing Change in a Digital World. I wanted to ask you, where do you see the biggest opportunities in that change for society and for industry? Uh, the biggest change I see is this convergence of everything to one platform. And that convergence also brings uh, the digitalization of everything, which brings communicating faster, communicating quicker, uh, or fast again, and in a big way. And I think if we embrace this, especially for countries like Uganda, which is a developing country that is trying to emerge, we can take this advantage to use this digital change or this big change to transform our societies. I was going to say, how is Uganda embracing the change? Oh, we are really taking it on. Uh, let me just give an example. If you take, for example, the analog to digital migration in TV, which will save us a lot of, we will have a digital dividend, that change alone would want to use that digital dividend to, to roll out broadband in our rural areas because we are basically rural and deal with education, and deal with health matters, deal with agriculture extension. And also, at the same time of this change, we are trying to make sure that we have an e-government where we really do business in a more efficient and faster manner. Is affordability a major issue for you? Yes. Uh, partly to do this, you are really talking about connectivity. And connectivity means infrastructure development. And that infrastructure is a big investment. But our policies of liberal, of liberalized sector will help. Where we, in, in one area, we attract the private sector, especially the, the current big telecom companies that are there, to roll out. In another area, we will go in private-public partnerships with the private sector again and government. And at the last bit end, where the, those two cannot work, government will intervene using the Universal Access Fund. And I wanted to ask you, in terms of being here at ITU Telecom World 2013, what's the value of attending such events? Well, these events are, are great. First of all, we come here to share experiences. We network. We look at new developments. Uh, I will just say something we say in my language, that the child who doesn't move thinks the mother is the best cook. <laughs> <laughs> but when we come here, we learn a lot, we network, and also we, show, we showcase what we can do and attract investment in our own countries. Because you've had your own uh, presence here, your own pavilion here? We have a pavilion here, we have our young innovators here. I was happy to see one of our young girls won an award in innovation just only the, the other day and we have those innovators who are really taking on this change. And you've also been part of a recent uh, BDT initiative. Can you say a little bit about that? Well, I have been part of, of this uh, initiative where an advisory board has been established in place that is looking at ICT for development, linking it to ICT for disaster management. We had our first meeting in Geneva, board meeting which was so successful and well attended, and we are trying to, to move uh, our work faster, see how we can link ICT for development to ICT for disaster management. Minister John Nassasira, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much, Max.